Before the Clean Water Act was passed in 1972, we were experiencing a water crisis in the United States. Burning water, dead fish, people getting sick. There is a desperate need for a federal law that could really help to protect water quality. Water pollution can cause a lot of negative health impacts. Drinking contaminated water can lead to gastrointestinal illness. Swimmers can experience ear infections or rashes. And rivers and lakes sometimes experience algae blooms that leave the water virtually unusable. Since the Clean Water Act was passed, many people assume that water pollution is no longer an issue. But water pollution is still a big problem. In part, that is because there are gaps in the way that the laws are enforced and also because many of our waterways aren't adequately protected under the original law. The principal weakness in the Clean Water Act is that it does not do a very good job of controlling industrialized agriculture. These facilities have pesticides, fertilizer, manure that can run off and cause threats to public health and the environment. Another important source of water pollution is urban runoff, the toxic brew of chemicals and waste and other pollutants that flows through our streets every time it rains or uh, due to urban irrigation or industrial use of water. A lot of folks feel that the work of the Clean Water Act is done. In truth, there are over 40,000 water bodies around the country that don't meet standards for things like swimming or fishing or drinking water supply. In addition to our existing water pollution problems, some members of Congress actually want to weaken the law. And they will, unless enough Americans stand up and say, we want clean water for ourselves, for our children, and for future generations.